Welcome to Chalk Talk. My name is Loudon Blair. I'm a network architect at Siena. I'm here today uh, to talk to you about OTN, or this Optical Transport Network Solution. It's, it provides all the features and functions that the, all the, the, the next generation Sonic gave us, but much more, provided all this transparency uh, that we need to carry different, uh, different service types. OTN is fundamentally a multi-service uh, protocol or a multi-network protocol. So the OTN component of the network actually includes both the digital piece, which would be the G.709 uh, OTN uh, layer, and the underlying DWDM layer that supports the wavelengths in the network. So OTN actually provides a mechanism to build multiple networks over a single common infrastructure. So you can build video services, you can uh, carry internet services, mobile services, storage services, all over an OTN infrastructure, a common server layer for different uh, service clients. And a key point about this ability to carry these different services transparently over OTN is that the OTN layer acts as an insulator against changes in the network. So in the future, if a new service type arises or a new protocol is, is defined, it will also be able to ride over OTN and without changing the underlying infrastructure you've put in place. And an, another key point about OTN is it comes with a very rich uh, management uh, structure that allows you to uh, monitor the health of the network. Monitor the health of the network both from a, a section perspective between individual network elements and also on an end-to-end -end basis from a path perspective. You can look at any service from end-to-end -end and monitor its health. So OEM comes with a very rich heritage, very, very much aligned, very similar to the kind of OEM capabilities we know and love with Sonnet SDH, but now modernized for this uh, packet, future, future packet network. Before, when I mentioned that OTN actually encompasses both a digital piece, a digital layer, and also a DWDM photonic layer, that's great for the economics of your network. What, what this chart actually shows are three lines. There's a horizontal line that's, a, that's basically just an electrically switched OTN network. And you see that it's actually quite uh, is good for cost in terms of a cost per bit when the traffic is lightly loaded to the left-hand side of the chart. But it's not very good when the traffic is heavily loaded to the right-hand side of the chart. And then you'll see there's a steep line going from the top left down to the bottom right. That's a WDM network where it's not very good if the traffic is lightly loaded or the network is lightly loaded because you're stranding lots of bandwidth within those empty wavelengths. But if you can combine the digital switching component with the photonic rotom switching component with a hybrid solution that is that joint photonic and digital OTN solution, you get that line along the bottom of the chart that always gives you that lowest cost envelope. So this OTN is really important for making sure you get low cost, low power uh, networks as your networks grow. The last point I want to raise about OTN is its compatibility with Ethernet. Ethernet and OTN go hand in hand in future networks. You're going to find that in the standards community, we're finding that OTN uh, data rates are aligning perfectly with Ethernet data rates. You have the ODU0 for in the OTN world and the Gigabit Ethernet in the IEEE uh, Ethernet world. The ODU2 aligns with the 10 Gigabit Ethernet and the ODU4 aligns with the 100 Gigabit Ethernet. So in, we're seeing in the standards world very close cooperation between the IEEE, the IETF, and the ITU in terms of making sure that all these technologies work closely to make sure that this network is going to take us a long time into the future. Sienna's OTN is an amazing technology. It is making your network more efficient, more cost effective, and changing the way your networks compete. Thank you.